0833. He's calls for bird activity on and around the airport. Advice control, Jeff Foxtrot. All right, and good afternoon. Today's date is Monday, April 27th, 2015. The time, 1.48 in the afternoon. We're here at Orbit Adventures in Kissimmee, Florida. In the front seat's Mike. Afternoon, Mike. How's just, it going? Just so you know, there is a video camera on you up there in the front seat. Everything oh, yeah. I say and do will be recorded. In the back seat, my name is Neil, and the airplane's a 1945 North American Aviation SNJ-6. Got a 15-minute introductory flight here this afternoon. Are you ready to go, sir? I am. All right, let's get out of here. After World War II, this airplane was an advanced trainer, and the last thing you flew as a cadet pilot before moving into a single-seat fighter. After World War II, they saw combat service with over 55 nations around the world. It's about everything you can think of for a military airplane to do. The Texans been there and done. Very, very capable. Really a privilege to be able to fly. All right. One of the first things you notice is that forward visibility here on the ground is a little bit of an issue, right? Yep. Hard to see anything out front. So what we do is taxi in a zigzag back and forth. We call it S-turning. That just allows us to peek out and make sure no one's walked or taxied in front of the airplane. Kissimmee Ground, Texan 2, single ship with Foxtrot South 15. Texan, hold short of runway 33 on Golf. Hold short of 33 on Charlie. Hold short of 33 on Charlie, Texan 2. And information Golf is now current. Texan 2. Beautiful P-51s here on the right. Gorgeous. Stallion 51, they specialize in uh, checkouts and training in the Mustang. Texan 2, taxi across runway 33 on Charlie. Across 33 on Charlie, Texan 2. We get the long taxi today all the way out to runway 33. Runway is 6,000 feet long and 100 feet wide. Way more than we need. But since we got it, we'll use it, right? Right. So what do you do for a living, sir? I'm a leathersmith. All right. Yep. Very cool. That's uh, that's definitely my first. I've not flown with a leathersmith before. Taxi 2, fun. taxi runway 33 via Alpha, cross 24. 33 via Alpha, cross 24, taxi 2. Very cool, man. And just uh, an aviation, uh, got the aviation bug, or what's the deal? Are you just into airplanes? Yeah, I've always been interested in these uh, World War II planes and stuff. Nice. Big history buff. There you go. They said you guys were involved with the Collings Foundation somehow. What's that all about? Uh, well, I'm the leathersmith for my dad's business. We sell swords and armor and uh, pretty much everything uh, related to medieval and history stuff. Okay. So we sell World War II gear, things of that nature as well. Oh, nice. Yep. Very cool. You guys do the entire process? Like, do you, you tan your own hides and do all that stuff? Or? Oh, no, no. We just get the leather from uh, suppliers. Okay. Gotcha. Very cool. And you guys are down in Fort Myers, you said? Yep. Just, uh, we have a timeshare up here, so we're just, uh, join the, uh, the vacay. Very cool, man. In town for a while, or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I think we see you on Friday. Nice. Doing the Disney thing, or? No, no Disney. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very cool. Well, you picked a beautiful day to fly. It's uh, the visibility is not the best, but it's smooth out, so that's good. Yeah. I understand it's supposed to uh, get pretty nasty here in the next couple of days. Is it? That's what I hear anyway. Uh, I'm out for the last couple of weeks, so. Do you guys still do flights then, or no? If it's too bad, then no. You know, if it's really rainy or 
crazy winds and we can't, but... Yeah, we're uh, day VFR only in these airplanes. You ever think about pursuing a pilot's license? I thought about it, but I just never did. Never too late to start. This is true. Alright, looks like the run up area is ours. Okay. Nobody else around. What we'll do is tack into the corner of the pad, unlock our tailwheels, spin the airplane around, and do a quick run up. If you would, go ahead and slide your canopy forward to the first open notch for me. And we'll go ahead and do a run up. Power is coming up. 1600 RPM, we'll cycle the propeller, looking for an increase in manifold pressure, decrease in RPM, and a fluctuation in oil pressure. Looking good. Now we'll go to 2000 RPM. And check our magnetos, the right bag first. It is good, back to both. Now the left bag, also good, back to both. Mixture control is working and rich. We'll smoothly and slowly bring the throttle back down toward idle. Power push. 1,000 PSI, the flaps up, the trim set, mixture and prop forward, bags on both. Power is up. And company on standby. Walking 1200, the primary unlocked. All right, flight controls are free and correct. Do follow through with me, just stay really light. As soon as we get onto the downwind, I'm going to hand it over to you, okay? Okay. Questions before we go? Uh, nope. All right. Excuse me, Tower Texan 2, ready, 3 3. Text 2, runway 3 3, cleared for takeoff. Clear takeoff, 3 3, Texan 2. Alright, here we go. Coming up, we're going at 36 inches, 2200 RPM. Pressure and temps are in the green, air speed's alive. She was ready to fly, and we're airborne. Power push, landing gear's coming up. Power's coming back. Yes, sir. All right, we're going to start a left turn here. All right, I'm going to give it to you. Just hold it right where it's at. We're going to keep this nice, gentle left turn going. Yeah, just don't change anything. Just keep it right where she is. And if you look off the left side, you see that big lake out there? Yep. Aim for the right shoreline of that lake. Charles, copy it. It's your just east of old down east bound. Keep turning. Oh, this is awesome. There you go. And roll your wings level for me. Nice. Cup eight zero zero. Your transponder no worky today. Oh, there it is, but no altitude. We're gonna climb to about uh, eighteen hundred feet for now. Okay. Step for uh, eight zero zero. It is. You want me to climb? Good to go now. What's that, sir? You want me to climb? You're good to yep, go. Just keep doing what you're doing. Don't pull back. Just leave it where it is. You are climbing as it is. Let's go uh, no higher than 1800 for now. Check again on the next go round. Looking good. What a beautiful smooth day. This is awesome. So, the big long skinny lake over there on the left side, that's Lake Tohopa Kaliga. We're going to go uh, along the western shoreline of Lake Toho. Yeah. All the way down to the south, that's where we'll do our maneuvering. Okay. Like I said, Steve. Button 2, button 3. Three with CM50. That's where we're going to do our uh, steep turns, wing overs, all that good stuff.
Pretty wild, huh? This is really, really cool. See, once you get airborne, there's not a lot around outside the, the major thoroughfares. Lots of trees and swamp out here, isn't there? Right, yeah. Up to the right for me just a few degrees here, Mike. There you go. Perfect. Looking good, looking really good. Another 100 feet higher, we'll level off there, but only for another mile or so. Right now, the Orlando's airspace begins at 2,000 feet above us. As we get a little bit further south, it'll begin at 3,000. Gives us just enough room to, uh, to play around with the airplane a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the left about 10 degrees. And nose down just slightly, there you go. That's level, keep coming left. You see that kind of little extension in the, uh, the lake there? Where the weeds stick out, straight ahead on the left side. Oh yeah, yep, aim for that area. You're coming left. What do you mean? Yep. Okay, follow through with me. Okay. We're just gonna go over this way. And we'll level here at, uh, well, actually we'll go ahead and pop up to uh, 2200. Follow through, the first maneuver we're gonna do is a steep turn. So minimum radius turn, 60 degrees of bank, 2G. I'll do one to the right, then you can do one to the left, okay? Okay. So follow through with me, stay on the controls while I demonstrate it, so you can kind of see how it works. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. All right, right is clear. I'm going to roll it into a 60 degree bank. Oh, good lord. Nice and light on the controls there for me. I'm going to take it all the way around. <laughs> Keeping the aircraft level at 2200, coordinated with our feet. And most importantly, we're looking outside. I want to make sure there's no other airplanes out here. Just like that. And we'll roll out southbound. I'd like you to do the same thing to the left for me, okay, Mike? All right. Your airplane. Up All is right. clear. Go for it. Yep. Nose down just a little bit. Relax some of the back pressure. Relax the back pressure. There you go. A little more bank. More left. There you go. And add just a little bit of back pressure. Pull back slightly. There you go. Perfect. That's the sweet spot, man. Oh, good Lord. And I'm doing it, too. Yes, sir. A little more back pressure. There you go. Can you see me in the back seat? Yeah. My hands are off. That's amazing. That's all you, brother. All right, go ahead and roll your wings level here. All right, I'm coming back on you. That's me there. Okay, follow through. We're going to do some wing overs, okay? Uh, Here's your big graceful U-turns in the sky. You feeling okay? Yep. All right. Oh. Bring our nose up. And back to our big graceful turn here. Relax on the controls. We'll go back to the right now. Oh, wow. 180 degree change in heading, right? Wow, you can really feel this. Oh, yeah. And we'll coast over the top. Okay, same thing for you. Uh-uh. No? <laughs> you feel okay? I don't feel okay doing that by myself. I can talk you through it. It's really easy. I won't let you get in any trouble, I promise. All right, pull back and left. A little more left. Now relax everything. Just kind of let go of the stick, but hold on to it. There you go. Now go to the right and back. Continue to pull back and right. Back and right. Pull more back. Back, 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 back. Nice light grip on the stick. Relax everything. Just kind of neutralize it. The nose comes down on its own. You level the wings by left stick and AR. There you go. Pull back and left. Back and Holy left. Crap. Back and left. Back and left. Like this. There you go. And neutralize the controls. The airplane nearly recovers itself. Oh. You just help it by leveling the wings and bringing the nose up. How you feeling? Oh, I'm good now. All right. Follow through with me, okay? Yeah. Nice light grip. 
You say you're doing okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right, we're going to climb back up a little bit. We'll do an aileron roll. Okay. You ever been upside down in an airplane before? Not yet. All right, there you go. Good answer. All right, follow through with me. Okay. We're going to dive and accelerate to 160 miles an hour. Not all that much, but a little bit. Yeah. 160, we'll get the nose up to 30 degrees. Neutralize the back pressure, and then we roll. All right, your turn. Same thing. Okay. I'll talk you through. Nose down, 160 miles an hour. All right. Pull back. Keep pulling. Stop pulling. Left. Hard left. Make the stick touch your leg. Keep it going. 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 Stop. And bring your nose up. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. How are you feeling? I'm good. You have your stick? Nope. It's all you. Oh. What do I do? I just level her off. Hey, let's go to the left a little bit. I'm looking for an airboat out here we can do a gun run on, but I'm not seeing anybody. Okay. I feel like Orlando is a ghost town right now after all everything that's been going on here lately. Yeah. Ah, there's a boat. All right, follow through with me. All right. All right, you see these two little uh, legs sticking out to the island here on the left side? Yes. The second one going north. There's a fishing boat up there. Yeah. Or a bass boat, I guess. All right, so we're going to go tactical on them here. Follow through, okay? All right. All right, here we go. So it's just kind of a combination of what we've just been doing. Wing over. We'll roll it inverted. Acquire the target. Roll it right side up. <laughs> guns, 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 guns. <laughs> Actually, not a bass boat. That's one of the airboats. Perfect. How you doing? I'm good. <laughs> well, you ready for the bad news? What's the bad news? It's time to go back. He's okay. On and the All right. Left yeah, turn for me. And we're gonna start working our way to the north. This is a good heading right there. Kissimmee Airport information, golf time 1750 Zulu, wind 340 at 6. Wait, 15 minutes is real quick, isn't it? It does go quickly. We're actually running a little bit behind here, though. <laughs> okay. All right. This is good. Nose down. We'll go down to 1,500 feet. Just hold it right here. Okay. This way, Tower Texan, 28 South Gulf. Texan 2, Xfimi Tower, report one mile initial runway 33. One mile initial 33, Texan 2. Hawker 7, Charlie, Charlie, contact to Orlando departure today. All right. Just hold your wings level. And 1,500 feet. Can you see the airport out in front of us? I do. All right, good. We're going to aim for a point about a mile off the end of the runway. That's the initial. Then we'll fly overhead the runway, make a uh, left or right descending turn to our landing, and we're going to land about halfway down the runway. Okay. That's called an overhead break or just the break. Uh, again, kind of like a carrier landing without the arresting gear. We do it to help us keep the side of the airport and the runway for as long as possible throughout the, uh, the approach. Okay. Have any questions on anything so far? Uh, no. You having a good time? I had a great time. All right. Excellent. Well, the landing's just as much fun. I think you'll enjoy it. I'm good on the landing. What's that? I'm good on the landing. All right. You still feeling okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Cool, man. Best ride in Orlando, isn't it? Yep. Definitely something special about looking out the wings of a 70-year-old World War II veteran. Right. Never gets old. All right, if I come on with you, stay with me for now, okay? Okay. Wait for Mackison Island here. Texan 2,000 foot approved. 1,000 
Texan 2, we'll request long break, short approach. Texan 2 approved, left break, runway 33, clear to land. Left break 33, clear to land, Texan 2. All right. We're going to line up with the runway here, fly over to the runway intersection, then we're going to make that left descending turn. You heard him assign a uh, left break. That's what he's referring to there. Yeah. Well, the airliners look really close today. It's unusual for him to be on a south operation. Oh, really? During the daytime, anyway. Pretty common at night, but I guess the wind is slightly out of the north. Runway heading 3000, runway 33, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 33, runway heading 3000. Clear for takeoff, 3000. Alright, so he cleared an airplane for departure. All right, at this point, Mike, I'll go ahead and take the airplane for the landing, if you would. Feet flat on the floor for me, all the way back. Go ahead and release the control stick. Okay. And we'll make our left break to land here once we pass the intersection. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Here we go. Break and left. Three, two, one. Here we go. Power is coming back. 20 inches of manifold pressure, 140 miles an hour. Power push landing gears coming down. Down and locked with the pin on the left and the right. 18 inches of manifold pressure at the 180, looking for 120 miles an hour. Long landing was approved. Power push is reset. There it is again. Flaps coming down. Runway 322, lane of contact. Trip set. Make sure you're ready. Prop left to go. You're down and locked. On both sides. Hundred and five miles an hour. We're on speed. Flight right cross line. You're down and locked. Flaps down. Trip set. Make sure you're ready. Props four more clear to land. If the golfer is a scare here, look out, buddy. Probably totally screwed up this shot there. All right, gear down and locked. And you can open your canopy if you want to get some fresh air. Tower Cessna 1, 2, Sierra Alpha, holding short 3, 3, ready for takeoff. Texan 2, left to Charlie, to TWA, mine on the ground. Charlie, mine on the ground, Texan 2. Well, what'd you think, sir? 1, 2, oh, Sierra God, Alpha, left turn out, west pounds per drum. Glad you enjoyed it. I did. Any questions? No, no, no. Good. You guys ever take out the Mustangs? Uh, those are another company there. Ours flies uh, several times a year, mainly uh, getting ready or going to and from the Reno Air Races. It just got a brand new engine put in, and uh, hasn't run yet this year. We'll get there, though. Well, that was awesome. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's my pleasure. Appreciate you coming out and flying with me. It's definitely a unique experience, isn't it? It is. By far the coolest thing I've ever done. Yeah? All right. Yeah, me too, to be honest. Yeah. All right. Well, as we taxi around the corner, just do stay in your seat for me until the propeller is stopped. Once we have that, you can remove the headset and start working on the belts and harnesses, and I'll come up and give you a hand hopping out. Okay. And here we are. Thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate you coming out, sir. Thank you.
My pleasure.